4.17 exercise. In this exercise, please highlight the fact that the business uses a markup percentage of 100%. In other words, every time that you need to calculate cost of sales, you will simply divide the selling price by 100 plus the markup of 100, or to simplify it, divided by 200% or divided by 2, as the cost price is obviously half of the selling price. Number 1. Owner deposits 100,000 Rand in the business's current account as his capital contribution. In this case, the two accounts affected are bank and capital. In assets, you will show plus 100,000 for bank increases and in owner's equity, plus 100,000 for capital contributed. Number 2. Bought equipment for 15,000 Rand on account. The two accounts involved will be equipment which you bought and creditors as you bought on account rather than paying immediately. We will therefore show in assets plus 15,000 equipment increases and to account for the creditors we will show this in the liabilities column plus 15,000 as we owe creditors more. Alternatively you could also write creditors increases. Number three, bought trading stock for 5,000 Rand and paid by check. In this case, we are converting our asset cash into trading stock, which is also an asset. So in assets, we will show plus 5,000 trading stock increases as well as minus 5,000 as bank decreases. Number four, cash sales, 8,000 Rand. Since we have sold these goods for cash, we are going to show bank as the asset that is affected with plus 8,000 Rand and in equity plus 8,000 for sales income. To account for the cost of sales, we simply divide 8,000 by 2 to get the amount of 4,000 Rand. In assets, we will show minus 4,000 as trading stock decreases and in owner's equity minus 4,000 because of cost of sales expense. It's very important that you always remember for any sale, convert the trading stock that left the shop into an expense for cost of sales in order to arrive at the correct gross profit when combined with the sales figure. Number five, paid for advertising, a thousand rand. Since we are told that the amount was paid, bank must be involved and the other account is advertising, an expense that will decrease equity. In assets, we show minus 1,000 bank decreases, and in equity, minus 1,000 advertising expense. Number six, paid water and electricity account, 1,500 Rand. Again, we have paid, therefore, bank will be one of the accounts. In assets, we will show minus 1,500 as bank decreases. The other account involved is water and electricity expense. Since it is an expense, our equity will decrease by 1,500 Rand. Number seven, bought goods, 3,000 Rand. Watch out, nowhere does it say that these goods were paid for. So we will have to assume that they were bought on credit. As such, our assets will increase by, by 3,000 Rand as trading stock increases. And at the same time, our contra account is creditors control. So liabilities will show plus 3,000 as we owe our creditors more. Number eight, owner drew check in favor of Telcom to pay his personal telephone account 800 Rand. Even though the amount has been paid to Telcom, and you might want to regard this as your telephone expense, because it is for the owner's personal telephone account, we need to treat this as drawings. The other account is obviously bank, as the amount has been paid. In assets, you will show minus 800 as bank decreases. In owner's equity minus 800, because it's drawings. The owner has reduced his investment in the business, and so equity has decreased. Number nine, credit sales, 
6,000 Rand. First, we need to consider the sales figure of 6,000 and understand that this is going to increase my debtors as its credit sales instead of bank and obviously my equity for sales income. We will then calculate the cost price. By dividing by two, you get 3,000 Rand. Assets increased by 6,000 as debtors owe more and equity increases by 6,000 as sales income has been earned. Remember to transfer the trading stock asset to cost of sales expense. In assets, minus 3,000 as trading stock decreases and in equity, minus 3,000 for cost of sales expense. Number 10. Cash to check for wages. In this case, the two accounts involved are bank and wages expense. Bank will be shown in assets, minus 500 as bank decreases. Expenses will decrease equity, so we show in equity minus 500 for wages expense. You can now go and do 4.18 crossword.